Scott, this is the MV1200S. I know it's the entry model from Mitsubishi. Does that mean there's a big compromise? No, Joe. Uh, from Mitsubishi, we have a, a standard sort of control that runs throughout the range. Uh, Mitsubishi is the second biggest uh, producer of controls worldwide. So we try to maintain that high level starting with the control. The casting of the machine tool runs through the range also. And really from there, it's just subtle smaller options where perhaps the, the machine is more orientated maybe towards the small uh, job shop or small uh, mold maker. And there may be uh, options on the, the next machine up that he may not require. So it's really maintaining the generator capacity, uh, th threading capacity and control that the operator needs. So there's no compromise on, on the end result. The S series actually for us in the UK is our best selling machine tool. The customers really love it. How about the famous painted technology of the wi automatic wire threading? Yeah, so we're able to thread uh, dry. Um, conventionally people would look to thread wet, but the, bit, the problem with wet threading is if you've got any tapered surface face or counterbore, or if you're trying to thread back down the slot, it's not possible with a water jet because the water jet will deflect the wire. By having a, a, a dry threader, it means we can take 14 inches of annealed wire and thread that back down a slot or a more difficult application. And how about the other variables such as power consumption, wire consumption? So the thing with the wire consumption is uh, we have a, something on the technology called digital anti-electrolysis. Uh, this moves the spark in real time and allows us to give a more even cut. Most people in the EDM field will know that the, one of their power contactors tends to wear out before the other and that's because the power is distributed differently. What the digital anti-electrolysis does is gets rid of that, but because it gets rid of that, we can also slow the wire speed down considerably. So we can see now, when we talk about rough cut uh, situation, 30% increase in wire life. So, so, and the wire is your biggest running cost uh, on the wire machine technology. Just because you've slowed that down, there's no loss of pro productivity, is there? No, no, we still maintain uh, the, the cunning speeds. I think if uh, there was going to be any kind of compromise on cunning speeds, we wouldn't go that way because at the end of the day, the customer needs to get the part out as quickly as possible so he can get the next job in uh, and keep his workflow moving. I know it's got fiber optic cables. What's the advantage? So the fiber optic uh, uh, cables enable uh, information to be tr transmitted from the drive system to the servo and, and, and backward and forward. And the reason for this is the EDM process is all happening in microseconds and we need to get the information back to the control to make any kind of adjustment uh, as quickly as possible. So typically when a, a, a machine tool operator is uh, maybe cutting 20 or 30 millimeter thick material, uh, that's quite a nice situation. But what we find with the Mitsubishi technology is that the taller the workpiece, the more steps in the workpiece, more holes in, inside, that's where Mitsubishi really come into their own. And part of that is the generator capability, the control and the communication to the drives to prevent wire breakages. I hear a lot about the tube of the drive technology. What is this? So the tubular drive technology is a magnetic propulsion system. Uh, Mitsubishi looked for many years at uh, flat plate linear motor systems um, and there are some advantages uh, but there are some disadvantages like heat being transmitted into the, into the machine tool, uh, uh, what they call cogging and the tubular drive system does away with that and uses 360 degrees of the flux so the enforcers are, and the magnets are actually completely surrounded. On the S machine we it use the tubular drive system in the X and Y axis and then if we move up to the next model in the R system, we use the tubular drive in the U and V also. Okay, and how about warranties on this machine? It seems to me there's a high level of technology for quite a low cost base, but how about the warranties? So Mitsubishi, even when we were using ball screws, we're offering a, a 10 year positional wa warranty. Um, and that still applies to this machine when you think about the U and V axis. But uh, we're, what we now offer is a 12 year positional warranty throughout the range of wire EDM machines. So you say it's a pop of the machine, who's buying these machines? Is it subcontractors or even OEMs? Uh, yeah, a lot of subcontract, little job shops, tool makers, uh, mold shops. Um, and I think really the just the general technology offers itself uh, you know, quite a, a diverse range. We can cut the standard on the, on the S machine is from uh, point 0.1 uh, to point 0.3 wire, which for most general job shops covers a, a wide range of uh, scope. 
Uh, typical surface finish on steel, 0 0.35, 0 0.4 RA, 0.3 on carbide, which would satisfy most people's needs. I know the 1200's got a very popular machine. I do see a lot of these on my travels, but how about the rest of the range? So in the S line, uh, we also have the 2400 machine. It has a travel of, of 600 by 400, but then it has two height configurations. So you can have a 310 fully submerged or a 425 fully submerged. And then from there, we can move up to the MV4800. It's a travel of 800 by 600 by 510 with a low capacity of three tonnes on the table. Scott, I know HK Technology, they're the exclusive dealer for Mitsubishi EDM, but as a business, how much experience have you got with this type of technology? So, uh, so myself and uh, my colleague in applications, uh, between us we have over 40 years experience in applications, plus time on the job uh, in the job shop or tool room, and our service uh, engineers also have more than 40 years between them, uh, so a wide range of experience. Uh, spanning over a, a, a wide range of products. So you've got the double whammy, you've got local support in the UK, but you've also got this facility behind you when you need it. Yeah, absolutely. I think when people are looking uh, to buy a machine and they see uh, maybe a, a dealer, their, their first thing is to, to think they're not dealing with the manufacturer. But as you can see today, we have a very, very close relationship with the manufacturer. And quite often we're even uh, coming here and helping them out with their demos and test cuts, uh, as well as their customer visits and presentations.